Hello, this is Ross Shane from Imagineer Systems, giving you a tutorial on Mocha for After Effects, Imagineer's planar tracker optimized for the After Effects user. We're going to begin by navigating in the upper left hand corner to the new project wizard. First, we're going to load in a clip and create a brand new project. It's very important to note at this point that our project settings should match our destination After Effects project both in frame size and frame rate. Once my clip is in, I just want to crop out any black that's in the frame by going to the lower left hand corner clip tab and simply cropping out our black in the frame. Let's view our clip. My goal here in this challenge is to motion track the movement of the bus to replace the sign. There's a couple challenges in this particular shot. One is this clip was actually quite grainy and motion blurred, as well as we have a foreground element obscuring what we're actually trying to track. You can see the pole here is actually in front of the sign. Lastly, our shot goes all the way off screen, which can be quite a challenge with a lot of point tracking systems. Imagineer's tracker is a planar tracker, which tracks much more data than a typical point tracker. From our toolbar, we're going to select our X-spline shape. This is basically how we create track search areas. The difference here is that we're going to create a shape and the system is going to track all the pixels within this entire shape, not just four points. Now we'll create a second shape. This shape is going to be made on the pole. Think of this as like a mask. Basically, we're going to tell the system to avoid looking at the area where this pole is so that we can track just the sign and not the pole. If you'll note in the upper left hand corner, we now have two layers. By turning off that second layer and going to track, this ensures that our sign is being tracked, but the pole shape is not. And I can show you here what we're doing is actually subtracting the pole value from the sign track. The area to the right of the viewer are basically controls to turn different tools on and off in the viewer. And we'll let the tracker continue. Note that the tracker actually holds its plane as the entire image goes off screen. Now that we're done tracking, let's actually just turn off our mask for the pole. I'm going to turn on our surface, which is basically how our tracking data is going to be translated to After Effects corner pinning. Again, we'll use the tools on the right hand side of the screen to turn things on and off. I hid my layers and we're going to turn on our grid just to get a good sense that we've tracked this plane really accurately. Now that we've tracked the motion, what we need to do is make sure that our tracking is rock solid. Mocha and Mocha AE both have an adjust track tab that allows me to really use an advanced tool to make sure that there's no drift in my keyframing. The adjust track tool is basically a zoomed in viewport that shows us our four points on our surface. What we can then do is set a master keyframe that shows us a master reference. As we slide through our shot then, we are gonna show the master frame compared to our current frame. And we can look at the difference between the two, shot, the two frames and basically compensate for any drift. This interpolates keyframes along the shot and basically will compensate for any minimal drift that would happen in your track. The auto button is a great way to work. It allows you to automatically add keyframes without having to go in and adjust the keyframes manually. The goal here in adjust track is to view each of your four corner points and add adjust track keyframes to fix any drift. This is also an excellent tool to play with if you're tracking things that go all the way off screen or if you wanted to add another search area for offset tracking. As I work on my adjust track, there are very various tools that I could use to preview my composite. Certainly turning on my grid, or going to the import clip uh, on the left where I could look at grids or logos or preset graphics the system has inside. 
or you could navigate and import a, a, a external file source graphic or a QuickTime animation to preview your composite here in Mocha AE. Here I've imported my Photoshop file which is basically a new logo with an alpha channel. Now you'll note that this new graphic was created in perspective already. So then rather than do a full frame comp, my goal here would be to reset the four corner points back to a relative full frame size. By right clicking my layer, I can reset the layer back to its original full frame. And if we look at our layer now, we've created a really great offset relationship and we can preview our perspective graphic tracked to our bus. So what we've done is used our surface corner pinning and our adjust track tools to ensure that the track was totally rock solid and then by resetting our surface to full frame we can show a full frame offset relationship. At this point I'm happy with my tracking data so I want to send it over to After Effects. I go to the export tracking tool and there are two different options. Transform, which gives me scale, rotation, position, and anchor point, or corner pinning, which basically will save this out as an After Effects corner pin effect. Now we're going to simply save out our corner pin tracking data to our desktop. That is then going to be pasted into After Effects and converted into corner pin effect keyframes. Here in After Effects on uh, one layer I have the shot of our bus and then on the layer above it we basically have here over here we have our sign graphic. A key step at this point is going to be make sure that I'm on the very first frame of the layer that I want to send the keyframes to. Simply copy and we'll select all and copy and then we're going to paste our keyframes onto our sign layer in After Effects. You'll see then we have all the keyframes from Mocha AE on our layer as now translated into After Effects' corner pin effect. Lastly, we're going to select our bottom layer, duplicate it, and throw it on top of our graphic, simply adding a quick mask here to make sure that our sign track to the bus actually does go behind the pole. And that's about it. We've used Mocha's planar tracker to track an object that's going off screen that's being obscured by foreground elements. And we've quickly tracked it, validated the tracking data, and sent the tracking data back to After Effects to complete this composite. Thanks for listening. This is Ross Shane with Imagineer Systems.